I'm documenting the process of me becoming my best self. But what does that even entail if progress is fluctuating? I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello, it is time for I another Glow Up Diaries slash me just talking about a few reflections that I've had um, over the past couple of days. If I'm being like completely honest, I'm not doing the best. I'm not doing super great. I'm not, I'm not good. <laughs> so, just like the last episode in Glow Up Diaries, if you haven't caught it, I read out a diary entry of mine from my private Instagram account. And yeah, I basically just talked about how I'm feeling more present, which is something I really struggle with. Staying present in conversations and moments, just really soaking everything in during those fleeting moments, like with your friends, with your family, you know, like I'm always thinking about something else. I'm always thinking about like the past or what I should do in the future. I don't know. So yeah, I've basically just talked about how I'm feeling more present, like I'm feeling more in the moment recently. But for the past couple of days, I have not been feeling like that. I have felt like I went back. Like I'm back to square one. In those moments where I'm mindlessly doing something, I'm thinking about going back home after this nice night out with my friends, how I'm going to feel going back home, how I'm stressed out about what time the next bus is coming, when the last bus is coming, stuff in the past, stuff in the future, how I'm going to edit this next video that I have to upload on Sunday. I don't know, I'm always just thinking about something else. I'm always thinking about like the next video idea, the next thing I have to do for work, the next outing that I go to with my friends, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna talk about, what I can contribute to the situation. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just always thinking about something. I'm not fully in the moment all the time and I'm always like stressed and anxious about things. But I feel like I articulated all of these thoughts a lot better in another Instagram post of mine on my private account. So like the last episode of Glow Up Diaries where I did talk about how I feel like I'm progressing, I'm going to be talking about how I feel like I'm regressing. Is that even a word? I don't think it is. But yeah, and I'm gonna read from the Instagram post that I made about it. <laughs> this was two days ago, so yeah, that's really fun. Let's read. Can I be honest? I feel like I'm getting stuck in my own head again. This string of words repeats itself over and over in my head, and I guess that justifies the truth tied to it. My heart feels heavy writing this because it feels like three steps backwards. But I know that progress is always fluctuating, as do feelings and mindsets and life in general. But it is so hard to accept the fact that I'm not 100% okay. And realistically, I never will be all the time. And it's a hard pill to swallow that even when I've gotten all the shit in my life figured out and I'm in my 30s, more problems are gonna pop up. It's a scary feeling to deal with, to know happily ever after in this lifetime doesn't exist. And lately, I've been finding it hard to stay present in conversations again. I'm always spacing out or checking my phone or whatnot because I'm always worrying about something else. But I'm not going to let this spiral into an identity crisis. I'm just having a hard time right now and I just need to take a breather. I just need to relax. <sighs> okay, where I'm at right now, I feel like I'm just struggling to accept that progress is fluctuating. You know, because one day you'll feel like you are the shit. The next day you'll feel like shit. And it's just like really sad because that means that happily ever after, the ones that we keep romanticizing, that dream apartment, our dream closet, when we're in our 30s and we have a family to ourselves and we have a stable income. I don't know what you romanticize, but even when we reach that point of life, we're still going to have problems. And that's what I'm finding hard to accept. If that's what I'm romanticizing now, if that's what I'm manifesting, if that's what I'm working towards, and I'm still going to have problems in that lifetime, then what is the point? You know, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm explaining this well, if I'm explaining my crisis right now well, but 
yeah, that's how I feel. The thing is, with Glow Up Diaries, I'm documenting the process of me becoming my best self. But what does that even entail if progress is fluctuating? Does that make any sense? I have no idea if I'm making sense right now. But like, <sighs> okay. I just feel like I need to open up this conversation because I feel like this is a universal feeling. Like, it's not just me who's thinking like this. Because it sucks to know that when one day you feel amazing, you feel great, you feel like you've progressed through so much of your life, but then eventually you're gonna spiral again. I don't know, it just feels like a whole hamster wheel of doing great, then not doing great, then doing great, then not doing great. Oh no, oh my god, is this an existential crisis? I have no idea. I feel like with starting this discussion, I think what I want to accomplish eventually in the future is to accept that progress is fluctuating, that my happiness is fluctuating and that it's okay to do that because it's normal. I feel like with what people document online, we rarely document the hard times. We don't talk about how on our journeys to being our best selves, sometimes we go three steps back and I feel like we need to normalize that because I felt like just thinking about how I feel like <laughs> because as someone with a platform, I feel the responsibility to always do better. And when I don't feel great, then what? Do I just not document this? Do I just hide this from everyone? Because it feels awful to hide it from everybody. I don't know if this is making sense at all, if this discussion is even like just one topic. I feel like it's a bunch of topics all melding together. I don't know, I just needed to talk about this. If you have any advice, feel free to comment down. I really just want to start this discussion and be more open about this topic, about how it's okay to not be okay and how if you regress, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> it's okay because eventually you're gonna be fine again. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense, but yeah, if this makes sense to one person and it helps, then I've done my job. Yeah. Anyways, this is a chaotic documentation of how I feel right now. But yeah, I think it was necessary. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. I hope you've taken away something from this video. I hope this changes your mindset in a positive way. And I hope that you're doing amazing. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time if I have any more thoughts that I want to share with you, I guess, and any more important discussions that we need to talk about. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!